we launched StockX, the website, in February of 2016, there was a way to create a new marketplace, a new form of people buying and selling consumer goods the same way the stock market worked. And we both felt like sneakers were the, the place to start that. In three years, we've proven that this business model, this idea of buying and selling sneakers um, and other products like the stock market works. You know, StockX physically authenticates every single product that's sold on StockX. Sneakers, streetwear, watches, handbags. Uh, seller sends it to us. After the sale happens, we make sure it's real. We also make sure that it's the right size, the right condition, that it is what it's supposed to be, and then we send it to the buyer. And you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of value in that. There's a lot of value in in authenticating shoes, um, just so that someone knows they're never going to get a fake pair of shoes. Because there's a lot of places that you don't have that guarantee. What I have here for you right now is a LeBron um, 16 Superman blue suede. I'm gonna show you what we do. So the first thing that I do is I grab it off my stack. I wanna check the size and the style first. Once I've checked the size and the style, I scan our QR code and I wanna take both shoes out, left and right. I put them side by side to make sure that I have a left and a right, not two lefts, not two rights, and also make sure that they're the same size. From there, I wanna do a 360 inspection to look for defects, make sure it hasn't been worn, and things of that sort. Once I've done my 360 inspection, I want to check the right shoe for the right size. Place it back in the box factory wrap. Check the left shoe for the same thing. Once I've checked it, authenticated, and make sure everything is okay, I grab one of our QR codes, our tags, and I attach it to the shoe. Most importantly, I want to make sure that I wrap it back up factory sealed, because who wants to get a shoe that isn't factory wrapped? So when we started and we said we're going to authenticate sneakers, we had to go and hire authenticators. Um, unfortunately, at the time, you couldn't go to LinkedIn and find sneaker authenticator as a profession. So we had to create it. And um, you know, we created an authentication career path. And that starts with understanding authentication, and that's a very process-driven, elbow grease type of uh, a process, which is we acquire real sneakers, we acquire fake sneakers, we rip them apart, we document them, we create training manuals and training classes and have mentorship programs and hierarchy and apps and technology and, and weights and durometers and, and all the things that you can do to help a human being and train them so that they can authenticate products. But What's amazing, what's happened out of that on the human side is we've built a career path where you can come in as an entry level authenticator and grow to become a more senior authenticator and then a leader or a trainer or a, a, a hire um, or you know, a, a manager of a, of a location, you know, all around the, that skill set. So the authentication process is a long one, but I'm gonna give you guys the short version. To start, we make sure that it looks clean. There's not really any big dinges or any dirt or any damages to the product. And then we go a little deeper and we look at stitching. We check for any signs of use in the cuffs or anywhere around the sleeves or anywhere on the garment. To make sure we're sending out the right product, we go through the size. We could look at the tags. There's a tag here, wash tag inside, which tells you the season. Two tags up here where t that tells you where it's made and what size it is. So after we make sure everything checks out, we get it ready for staging and processing. So we like to fold it, fold it back up to our standards rather than the Supreme Manufacturer standards. And once it gets folded back up like this, it gets processed and our product staging specialists send it out for delivery. Most importantly, streetwear like sneakers, like watches and handbags, it fit the model of what you can do when you have a product, whether that's a hoodie or a watch or a sneaker, that you don't know what the value is, you don't know whether it's real, you don't know, you know what, a, what a fair price is for it. And that idea um, applies as much to streetwear as it does for any other category. And the real future of StockX is working with brands to release products directly into the market, to literally IPO consumer goods into existence. And, uh, and ultimately we see a scenario where 
you know, every single weekend, every, maybe every single day, there are products that are releasing on StockX in the same way, at the same timing as they release in the brick and mortar world and, and the rest of the retail world because um, ultimately bringing the brands together with the secondary market, with the primary and secondary market blurs the line and there's one market, like that's what a stock market's about. And these are the products that there should only be one market for. It literally feels like day zero around here, like we're, we're really just getting started now.